This is a message channeled from the Tendi Syrian Council, always reminding us that they are not far away in some far-flung dimension. They are within each and every one of us. This one's about timelines. Your experience of timelines is changing and you are starting to notice. You typically speak as though you belong to or own a particular timeline. You say this timeline as if it is a road you have been traveling along for some time. This is a very useful way of looking at timelines from the perspective of your linear mind. All perspectives are relative to the point of awareness and your human perspective is no less valid than our 10D expanded perspective. When we look at the intricate energetic tangle that is your earth experience, we don't really see you sticking to one timeline or one energetic pathway. We see that your awareness is constantly jumping around from one place to another. From our perspective, looking at earth is like looking at trillions upon trillions upon trillions of lights flashing and flickering at incredible speed. It is a light show like nothing your human eyes have ever seen. We would like to invite you to loosen up your idea of following a timeline like it is a road. We feel this will benefit you because non-attachment to a particular timeline will help you become more flexible and nimble as you flick through the energetic moments faster and faster. The idea of a timeline is itself linear, and as you know, you are expanding into nonlinear consciousness. Instead of thinking about timelines, it might be useful for you to think of energy pockets or simply the energy of the moment. For one moment, you are in a pocket of energy that oscillates in a certain way. In another moment, you are in a pocket of energy that oscillates in another way. If you look at your life experience this way, you will see that there is no need to fix yourself upon the road because you are on a different road in every moment. The only thing you can ground into is yourself, your own awareness. We can use the analogy of looking through a telescope. Imagine that you are on a high balcony pointing a telescope down on the city landscape. You have one lens, one point of awareness, and that awareness is very zoomed in. You only see a small circle of the landscape, but you can see it in great detail. Now imagine that you find a long city street and you decide to carefully move the view in the telescope along the street. This isn't as easy as it seems. If you have ever tried to find the moon through a telescope, you know how difficult it can be to point the telescope at the moon. From the zoomed in perspective of your naked eyes, it is impossible, or sorry, from the zoomed out perspective of your naked eyes, it is impossible to miss the moon. But within the zoomed in perspective of the telescope, it is difficult to find what you are looking for. Because of the zoomed in nature of the telescope, it would be quite challenging to trace along a city street and keep it in view. It is true that with a stable platform, a steady hand and some practice, it could be done but eventually something will come along and destabilize the telescope and you will find yourself looking at something else entirely. Now, imagine trying to use a telescope to trace a city street during an earthquake or a hurricane. It would be virtually impossible to exert enough compensatory stabilizing energy to the telescope to maintain your view of the road. And what would be the point in trying? Tracing your view along a road was a rather arbitrary thing to do. It may have been interesting for a time, but there is no particular reason to continue doing it if it becomes impossible. This is the experience you are having with your awareness and timelines on Earth. Your energetic weather is experiencing increasing turbulence, which means it is becoming increasingly difficult for you to trace along anything resembling one specific timeline. It will be very wrenching if you continually hook yourself into a specific path. However, this does not mean you need to feel lost to the quantum winds, although that is an option for anyone who wants to see what it is like to completely let go of all navigational systems. 
Rather, we encourage you to navigate by grounding inwards. Ground into your own awareness. Ground into yourself. That will provide you with an enjoyable and useful experience of centeredness and belongingness. And it will do so in a way that is sustainable in a chaotic environment. We do, not, we do not want you to feel stressed because of the turbulence. We wish for you to enjoy the thrill of the experience. We see this as the most exciting time that you have ever had. Will you capitalize on this moment? Will you release your grip on the safety rails? Will you allow yourself to truly enjoy the ride? We certainly encourage you to do so because we are sitting here next to the parts of yourselves that chose to embark on this ride for the sheer ecstasy of it. <laughs>